This video accompanies our paper on a survey of model predictive control for microaerial vehicles. Model predictive control offers a set of potential benefits for microaerial vehicles, or MAVs. This includes, but is not limited to, the capacity for model-based optimal control, respecting constraints, and the ability to account for linear, nonlinear, or even hybrid models. This work surveys a set of selected methods, while the video only presents a subset of the information available in the paper. Modeling of MAVs allows for a modular formulation based on rigid body dynamics and depending the forces and moments from the system propellers. More complex models exist from the one that will be presented and may be more appropriate depending on the system and the application. Considering a symmetric underactuated hex rotor or other similar multirotor, the model takes the following form. Two coordinate frames are utilized, namely the inertial frame and the body fixed frame. The key notation involved in the modeling equations is presented in this slide. Considering a closed-loop attitude subsystem, then a multi-rotor linear MPC position control may be formulated as an optimal control problem over the prediction horizon N and subject to input constraints. A disturbance observer allows for offset-free tracking. Some selected but necessarily only indicative references are presented below. Furthermore, we highlight the importance of reachability analysis for assured flying robot control. Extending to account for the nonlinear translation dynamics, the optimal control problem presented below represents one way MPC can be utilized for position control of a multi-rotor MAV, implementing a low-level attitude controller. Similarly, selected but only indicative references are presented in this slide. To put things into perspective, a comparison of linear versus nonlinear MPC is presented using simulation studies considering a hexarotor MAV. The simulations are based on the Rotor S gazebo-based simulator. Proceeding to more advanced topics on MPC for MAVs, fault-tolerant control can be implemented and among others has presented the ability to retain dynamic stability subject to propeller loss. The published work addresses a set of fault cases. Another key aspect of MPC for microarea vehicles is about its relevance with modern reinforcement learning for robot control. This domain is growing and multiple publications present exciting results. Furthermore, analogous to their named counterparts, multi-rotor MAVs can be used for slung load control aerial pick-and-place, multi-robot transportation, and more. Beyond the above types of free flight control, MAVs can be used in the context of aerial manipulation and broadly physical interaction. This exciting field has progressed significantly, and it is not a surprise that MPC has been deployed in that context. Here, the system can be modeled either as a hybrid representation or using more rather stiff nonlinear equations. The modeling choice guides the appropriate MPC strategy to utilize. Last, but not least, it is highlighted that a set of open source packages readily provide model predictive control functionality, either specifically for microarea vehicles or more broadly for such dynamic systems. Thank you.